Cloudflare at default settings isn't the best. By changing a couple of things, we can make it a lot better and that's exactly what we're gonna do in this video. But first, something you should consider. The way that Cloudflare works is pretty simple. They have thousands of servers in many locations around the world. Because of that, data can be a lot closer to visitor as long as it's available on their servers and as long as it's cost-effective to them to serve you from the nearest location. Bandwidth costs around the world is different and if you are a free user, they need to cut some corners to don't lose too much money. I will show you a cool trick. If a website is using Cloudflare, then type cdn-cgi slash trace in the end of the URL and you will get information about your connection to this website. Here you can see what city data is coming from. In my case, it comes from Frankfurt, Germany, but I don't live in Germany. I live in Poland. Cloudflare has servers in Poland, yet they never use them unless you are paying customer and even then it's kind of 50-50. As I am recording this video, all major Polish e-commerce sites are sent from Germany, but I know all of them have servers collocated in Poland. It doesn't make much sense to transfer data back and forth between countries. For us, it doesn't make sense. Cloudflare has likely some nice deals with internet server or colocation providers in Germany, so they prefer to use these servers. So you see, Cloudflare isn't making these e-commerce sites faster. So why they are still using it? Because of protection that Cloudflare provides. So let's dive deep into this topic. I will show you a lot of cool tricks. First is load balancing. Cloudflare price for this feature starts from $5 for two origins. But if you want 20 origins, then it's almost $100. But we can do it for free. Go to DNS settings and just add another IP that points to the same domain. Now, if you visit your website, you will connect to one of these IPs and your connection will be glued to it. So even after refreshing or opening in another tab, you will still connect to the same IP. If I change my IP by using VPN, then Cloudflare will pick second IP address. You can see that because I have different page on two different IPs, just to confirm how it works. This is called round robin load balancing. Is the most basic load balancing technique, which has just one simple principle. If you have three origins, then if users come to your website, it routes them like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. But what if you want to route users to nearest server, or you have one big VPS and three smaller ones? That's where you should use paid Cloudflare load balancing. You can set up geographical rules or make sure that one server gets 80% of load and another one 20%. It also integrates health checks, which makes sure that if one server is down, then a further request will go to other server. Now, if someone attacks your website, he needs to take down multiple servers, not only one. But we can do even more to block attacks. Go into security, WAF, here we can set up firewall rules. I will show you crazy good method to block majority of attacks. Year ago, one of providers on our forum, Low and Talk, had problems with DDoS. He had a very hard time dealing with it and also gave list of IP addresses that attacked him. I managed to assign all of these IPs to ASNs. Thanks to that information, we can see from which networks attacks are coming from. Cloudflare allows us to block ASNs and even big DDoS can be blocked that way. 
If you are dealing with attack that comes from DigitalOcean network, you can just block all DigitalOcean IPs, so they don't hit your server and no one from real people on residential connections will have problems. Now attackers need to get different machines from a different network. Also, they can use residential connections from hacked or infected devices. Such attack is very hard to block. But I also have nice method to deal with it. Rate limited. It was always paid add-on on Cloudflare, but recently they allowed to set up one rule for free. In this example, we block IP for 10 seconds if someone uses search more than 5 times in 10 seconds. So user can use search every 2 seconds. Legit users won't have any problems with that limit. But if someone wants to hit your website with thousands of search requests per second, then because of this limit, your server won't be taken down from such overload. But we can do even more. Normally Cloudflare caches scripts and images, but does not cache HTML files. You can see that by using developer tools in your browser. In page rules section, we can set up rule to cache everything on our website, including HTML. That rule not only help with attacks, as everything will be cached on Cloudflare servers, but also with speed, because everything will be cached on the Cloudflare servers. Remember when I explained how Cloudflare works in the beginning of this video? Now data won't be served back and forth, it will be just sent from Cloudflare server, which in my example with routing from Germany, reduces latency and time to first byte by more than half. Website is blazing fast with that rule, but there is one major problem with that. Cloudflare doesn't know when to remove cache and get fresh copy from your server, when you will update or add something on your site. If you are using WordPress, you can fix that easily. Install Super Page Cache plugin and connect it to your Cloudflare account. Now Cloudflare will fetch fresh data when you will do changes to your website. This method is only suited for blogs, news sites or anything that's kinda static. If your website is highly dynamic, changes every minute like social media site or e-commerce where every customer has different recommendations, then you will need to set up a lot of exceptions and it's not that straightforward. So from this video you learned how to get most out of Cloudflare settings. But this is just first part. Later this month I will publish one more video that shows more advanced stuff that you can do with Cloudflare, so subscribe if you are interested. Couple of things will blow your mind. But for now goodbye and have a nice day.